This is a government of dinosaurs, led by the dinosaurs, for the dinosaurs. Alright, so this is a pretty big garrison. Which is a problem. This might even be their capital. Probably is. Um, so we could hit this area again. Once again, towers have a very narrow area of effect. So we could go straight for the centre door. And that's kind of what I'm leaning towards. Right, who are the tough ones? You are exceptionally tough. So the Stegodons, we're going to have at the front. And we're just going to charge the door and smash our way through. You guys... Line up behind them. We have so many freaking big dinosaurs here. It's awesome. Line up behind them. Uh, chameleon skinks. I'm going to put at the front uh, to rush ahead. And the sauruses without shields. Um, can line up behind something like that. Ready to charge in. And then Troddling himself will lead from the center. Right. Skinkies. Rush forwards. Steggies, smash door, go. Yeah, that's true. The dinosaurs are led by giant floaty frogs. Chameleon skinks. Actually, these aren't the chameleon skinks. These are something else. You're doing a warp storm, which missed horrifically. No, 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 you. Bastards. More magic. Oh, you've just summoned some. Carnosaurs, do your thing. We need to. Uh... He just summoning even more. I think you are. But guess what's coming? You're not gonna like it. You're really not gonna like it. Oh, you just melted them. Oh, hi! <laughs> <laughs> Ah! Oh, I, I think they regret appearing there now. <laughs> Ow! Bad magic! Still barely hit me though. I think you did more damage to your own unit than you did to mine. <laughs> oh, that was so much fun. Yeah, you... Ah, move! Ah, damn it. Go and hit them. Oh, the door's open. Right then, you guys. Steamroll. Show me how it's done. Meanwhile, Stegodon charge. Literally T-Rex Blitzkrieg. Yeah, it really is. Oh, you guys are running. I was not expecting you to actually just run. Alright, T-Rexes. Do your thing. Come on, T-Rexes. Charge! Whee. Oh, they're having so much fun. Unfortunately, they, they really don't have much leadership, so we need to get our general in here, like, soon. General! Uh, I told all of you to move. Why are you not moving? That's irritating. Move, you twits. Otherwise, these guys are just going to break and run like the previous ones. Come on. Yeah, they are already freaking out. They're blitzing probably more of their own troops, honestly. Come on. Oh, 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 where's that hitting? Damn it! 
This thing does not have much of a recharge. Or a lead up, rather. Tails are surprisingly effective, probably even more so than the jaw. The jaw can hit like five or six, and the tail's just like squished. Why don't I have a Petrodon Luftwaffe? I do actually. <laughs> My other general has uh, Pterodons. They were the uh, first dinosaur I had. The general's like, no, screw this. I'm done. Ah, the leader's here. Excellent. Troddling has arrived. Go on, Troddling. Show us how it's done. Ah! And the cool thing about Troddling, he's completely specked out to kill Skaven. This is kind of what he does. Oh wow, you sent him flying! Wow, okay. <laughs> oh, you've appeared behind me. Oh no, those are mine. Never mind. Both of our banners are brown, this does not help. Alright, honestly, you need to go up and attack them. You need to go for them. We'll leave the big dinos down here with the ruffle stomps. And also the big boss. Hey Don Bassos, how are you? Hope your vacation's going good. Well. I'm in love with Carnosaurs, these things are ridiculous. I mean, they've taken way more damage in this battle than they should have because I just let them loose on their own without any support. Oh my gosh, this is absurd. Ah, you made it up. Good. Don't attack that. Move, 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 move. Yeah. Ah, yeah, you you move fairly well. Where are you? I need you to go and kill them. I'm surprised they got magic off. I thought their leader had run. Flee, flee. Apparently he hadn't. Alright, you two. Go and hunt them down. You two. Go and hunt them down. Oh, there's their boss man. Okay, cool. And here's my boss man. My boss man's going for their catapults. Charge! I've lost control of all of my carnosaurs. They're going on a rampage! So we'll see how this guy does against like their massed forces here. How are you still shooting? You're in melee! Now this guy is like plus 20% damage versus Skaven. <laughs> He's gonna be just tearing through them. Oh, you recovered. Oh, the Carnosaurs have joined the fray. <laughs> Uh, oh, they're left. Go after them. Oh man, this has been so worth it. <laughs> How fast are they? 75! Wow! That's like cavalry speed! 
These guys are running for their lives. Hunt them down. There's the victory. I don't need to kill them all. This is a siege. They'll automatically die. <laughs> that was not a close victory. That was definitely not a close victory. I lost 257. Right, so Carnosaurs, 90 kills, 77 kills, 86 kills, 91 kills. Stegodons didn't do quite so well, but they did smash their way through the door, so it's fine. And then the Stegodons, yeah, not as good. <laughs> Carnosaurs, though. Good grief, those guys are good. Lots of loot. Lovely. That's going to allow me to colonize that other city. Oh, we got a banner. The Banner of Discipline. And Trottling leveled up. Just about to level four. Fantastic. Uh, he got two levels there, actually. He was only a level two before. And, oh man, that is a lot of money for sacking this place. We'll sack it. And we've got an Artifact Hunter. Sweet. Are you able to use said Artifact Hunter? No. Ah, we do have a spare weapon though, so you have a charge bonus and more weapon strength. Um, I kind of want you to have the weapon of... No, you'd, you'd be more charge bonus than the Salon Mage. Right, you are... Obedience brings victory. Character leadership aura effect, leadership aura size plus 50%. Ha ha. I mean, you've already got inspiring uh, presence, which increases your leadership. You are leading dinosaurs, so having a high leadership for you is going to carry over to the dinosaurs. So actually, yeah. Oh dear. Right now, can I sack it? No, next time. Not a problem. Right, that's all of you guys moved. So worth it. So, so, so worth it. That was awesome. And I'm making a bit more money now. And we have, yeah, plenty of cash for the colonization effort. Cool. Skip you. Yeah, you need to repair. That's fine. I am happy to pay for that. Done. It's sickening to think that Carnosaurs also have anti-large. Yeah, I really should check to see what their skills are. Ooh, what's up, buddy? You want to do a trade agreement, which I've been trying to do with you for ages. Yes, yes, a million times, yes. See ya, Donbassos. Oh, reinforcement army just arrived. But I did just reinforce massively. Unfortunately, this means I'm now fighting a big banner in a siege again. Although the door should still be smashed open. I think. Right. Absolution. He's going to move down here. You are going to go into Force March, heading north to go and reinforce up that way. <clears throat> the next turn, Absolution, you can hit the Shrine of Sotek. I want to put them under siege to stop them reinforcing. In fact, they have a force march. That means they're going to be a lot weaker. You have an upkeep of 4,000. Ouch! How much is Master Mundi's? 2,300. Damn it, Troddling, you're expensive. See you, Don Bassos. Enjoy your time there. Oh man, those Carnosaurs were amazing. Let's actually have a look at their abilities. Armoured, armour piercing, and anti-large. Very expensive maintenance. Actually, it's a little bit less than I kind of expected. It's just that there are so many of them here. Uh, 95 armour. It's not as good as the Stegodons or the Bastodons. In fact, the Bastodons are the most armoured. They cause terror. The Carnosaurs don't actually cause... How do you not cause terror? The Stegodons and the Bastodons do. So actually what I should be doing is I should have charged the uh, the gates of the Bastodons. Leadership 63, leadership 64, leadership 62. So they have the least leadership. 79, yeah. Sauruses are friggin' hardcore. 
Very unlikely to break. They actually have... Hang on. How is that so high? What bonuses are you getting? Oh, it's probably just your level. Because they have higher leadership than the general. Anyway, either way, we're going to attack them again. Hells yeah! Oh, hi! Your doors are still smashed open. Oh, wow, you recovered a lot of your garrison very quickly. And we do have the standard of discipline, which gives even more. Can we give that... No! <laughs> we can give the discipline to a dinosaur? What?! Give that dinosaur a standard. Oh, man, they're going to have a... I mean, that was just the garrison we fought last time. I mean, saying this is a almost guaranteed victory. That is a lot of clan rats. Okay, these are actually really low level, except for the Globadiers. Globadiers could do some damage. Anti-large, armor-piercing, armored, poison, wind globes. Oh, yeah, they are very strong. So we need to hit the Globadiers with the Saurons, uh, Sauruses. I'm amazed that they replenished half of their units already in one turn. Alright, we'll fight them. We'll fight them on the beaches. And everywhere else. I've already said that quote once today. Alright, so this time I think I'm going to use the Bastardons to smash down the gate. Oh! No walls. This is just a one-on-one -on -one fight. Okay. Because I apparently already broke through their walls last time. Kind of surprising it's not another siege battle. It just have the doors open. I don't really understand why this isn't a siege. This should totally be a siege. Alright, so let's get the dinosaurs back here. I kind of want to use you as shock troops. These guys definitely taking up the front. Because I want you to kind of pin the enemy in place and then just squish them. With you in reserve. We'll use you guys spitting away at the enemy. I'm going to use the Carnosaurs as cavalry. <laughs> Great big giant dinosaur cavalry! Nah! <laughs> and then you guys. I'll have coming in from that flank. Yeah. Right then, so you guys. Head down there. You lot. Space is what I was trying to hit there. Head over to here. You two carnosaurs over on that flank. You two carnosaurs over on that flank. Actually, no, I want you flanking out a bit more. Out there, there we go. Out there. Then we'll take the bastardons over on the left. And the stegodons over on the right. Yeah. Also, one thing which I did not realize before watching Quill's stream is I've always been complaining because there's no way of determining whether a unit is large or small. So, for example, the anti-large guys, for example, the carnosaurs, like, who actually counts as large? Well, there is actually a very easy way of finding out, and that is this icon here. It says right there, if it's that little icon thingy, then it's small. If it's that big bastard, then it's big. That's how you tell if someone's a small target or a large target. So, sauruses, for example, are not large. Uh, I would like to check that with sauruses at some point. Sorry, not sauruses, uh, what are they called? Warhounds. I'm not sure if warhounds are large, but that is actually how you tell. It, it doesn't explain that anywhere in the game, I just, uh, someone in Quillstream told him. Maybe I attacked an army outside the settlement and the garrison's just supporting. No, I'm pretty sure I didn't. Because their army was inside the city and garrisoning it. Us. 
Uh, did we kill their mage last time? No, he's still alive. That's unfortunate. I do also wish it told you the level of the mage. Or the, the hero. But it doesn't. Oh, magic toads large. Yes. A little bit further out, actually. Right, where are the globe ears? There. And there. They are the ones I need to be very careful of. And in fact, if there is any way of getting you guys to hit the globe ears instead, that would be even better. Alright, Soros is almost in position. You guys should cause sufficient issues. We're raising another one. That's fine. Yeah, we're kind of separating out their armies right now, which is good. It's very good. Alright, you're a bit too far away now. Are you? No, we'll leave you there. It's fine. You guys are going a bit too far out. Let's do that. I was wondering if any of you guys were considered anti-infantry, but no, you're not. Um, really? You're coming after me with that? Okay. Oh, those are spears. They are anti-large. Hmm... See if that was a good idea or not. I'm not convinced. Right. Oh, my bastardons have charged. Have they charged? No, I think they're just ahead. Bollocks. Uh, attack into them. To them. To them. Carnosaurs. I still want you over on the side like that. Right, everyone charge for us. Alright, I really... Alright, Skinks are still screwing them up, that's fine. Um, those two Carnosaurs, I have a job for you. Because I have a feeling they're only going to be anti-large when they're actually shooting. And right now they're shooting completely the wrong targets. But I'm about to get a flank on them with the Carnosaurs. Excellent. Yeah, we have two Carnosaurs which are taking a boatload of damage, unfortunately. That is a lot of clan rats. Having a Comet Cassadora right there would be amazing. Ah, oh, ah, oh, if only, if only. Yes, charge! Yeah, unfortunately they're rampaging now, so I cannot control them, so we might well lose some of our car carnosaurs. Also, you got Victoria 2 yesterday and joined the shit out of it. Excellent! That makes me very happy. Oh, wow, they are running already. I want them terrored and running. They're attacking. Good. Alright, you move down there. You're still in range. You two are not currently doing anything. Where are you? You're there. Let's see if we can bail out these carnosaurs. Not convinced we can, though.
we could try it though. Carnosaurs are running. Good. Hopefully you can get away. I mean, it's the Sauruses that are carrying this right now. Just because they do so much damage. Go, 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 go! Bastodons arrived. Stegodons are arriving. We're plowing a lot of troops into that. I need you to keep chasing them. Sauruses are freaking out. Keep those Globideers out. Alright, Sauruses have arrived. Leader has arrived. <laughs> this whole rampage thing is, means I have no control over what anyone is doing. I'm just like, yeah, do your own thing, it's fine. Just, just make sure you keep them dying more than us. Like, I currently have no idea what's going on. <laughs> this lot could well rally. They probably will. I really wish I could tell you two to run. Unfortunately, you're not. This is actually where having skin cohort would be nice, because I could keep these guys running, rather than getting them to fight against them. Like, they're starting to rally, that's bad. Oh, you guys have stopped! No! Bad! As long as we push them off the map, it's fine. Yeah, they're rallying. This is bad. 100 hit points. I mean, you're racking off a boatload of kills, but... You're probably going to die. Unfortunately, I don't have apotheosis in this one. Oh, they're breaking again. That's good. Oh, that. Um, I mean, they've broken, so they're not going to rally, so we may as well just hunt them down. How fast are you? 40. Not quite fast enough. How fast are you guys? 50. You are fast enough. And the carnosaurs definitely are. Alright, you can go and hunt stuff now. Have fun, guys. Have fun.